Back to We're going to Spain for the Spanish Grand Prix. But it's going to be wet for the race. So let's get started, shall we? So now, as the last race was not for me now, but now. We we'll had to go to. So. Of 24, it's round four, 20. Race four, 24 for the Spanish Grand Prix. That's where that's where Fons are racing at this weekend. That's going to be wet for the race. Well, it's a pleasure to have you join us here at the Circuit de Barcelona, Catalonia, as we proceed through to race day to see just who will claim victory at the Spanish Grand Prix. It's 730 meters from pole position down to a slippery turn one here, the first of 16 corners around this 2.89 mile racetrack. The two DRS turn three and the uphill right hander of turn nine can both be turns. taken full throttle in the right conditions, but I doubt very much we'll be seeing any of that today. It's not going to be plain sailing for our drivers today, although with the sky falling as it is, perhaps sailing isn't too far from the truth. And Anthony Davidson could be a wet one today. Great to have you with us. What are your thoughts? It is a touch damp, isn't it? Well, as a driver, there are three big things to worry about when racing in these kind of conditions. Standing water, tyre temperature and visibility. Judging distance to the cars around you is really tricky when you're driving through the vast amounts of spray that these wet weather Pirelli tyres kick up. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Good job yesterday from Valtteri Bottas. The Finn starts from pole position. Valtteri starts on Lewis pole Hamilton with Lewis side. Hamilton on Considering the front row. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Perez, Verstappen, Lance Perez. Stroll and Leclerc. So Leclerc, Sainz, Alcon. Carlos Sainz with Sonoda and Lando Norris. With Lando Norris. Fernando Alonso. Fernando Alonso, Pierre Gasly, Sebastian Vettel, and Ricardo, Sebastian Vettel, Daniel Ricciardo, Latifi, and can I spend Nicholas Latifi with Mick Schumacher, with Antonio Giovinazzi, with Kim Rogan, and George Russell back at the grid. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track and get this Grand Prix underway. Well, there we do. But it's wet right now, so we'll just load our setup. But I just really good seats right now, so because I think. But I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with just dry this time because. Here we go. And we're waiting to hear at the Spanish Grand Prix. And as Bodas gets a jump start, here comes two rebels off of Sampin and Perez into P2 and P3. And we're almost going to go three wide, breaking the turn one, but they both stay out in front. Come into turn two. Come into turn three. And there you go, we're into the ranking next code, but we're going to see this move. So Stappen, look at this, he's trying to bounce Perez into P number three, down to the inside on Perez, and we're Perez into P three. So it's bounce we build out in front of Max for Stappen and us. So if you, if you wait, you know, make it go slow, that is. Now we're coming, but remember, no DRS after lap. Ooh, as we look to the inside on Max Verstappen, and we've got Verstappen into P2. And uh, here we go on our teammate, Valtteri Bonus. But you can't go there, you can because you guys on this, you're going to do 60 turns here. At you're at Spain, 133, four rounds, three bonus, fast lap of the Grand Prix. Four laps remaining off the Spanish Grand Prix. Here we go, breaking to us, slowly towards turn one and turn two. Yeah. 
Christmas, but we're still into looking closer on bouncing boats. We got a purple through access through the first sector than anybody. And now look to the outside on boundary bonus. A little bit wide. Total time looking the outside on boundary bonus. 11 at contact. And we're still side by side, are you? Total contact again. And we're up into P1. And we got bonus into P1. But no DRS after the lap on lap 3. We got a personal best now in sector 2. I think no DRS on lap 3 because of the red track conditions. If you think anything went, then you can slide. Here we go, There's a bus stop to gain 14, 15. Now I'll turn 18. I'll turn 16 now. And now we're set. The fast lap of the Grand Prix, 131. That was the fastest lap of the race so far. No DRS because due to the wet track conditions. We'll two the gap. Now turn one, now turn two. Now it's a turn three. Now right. we go. Fastest through the first sector than anybody. 1.8 fastest again in sector one than anybody. 1.8 now, the gap to Valtteri Bellis behind P2. I knocked the bullard down. This lap of the race, keep this up. For two laps to go off the Spanish Grand Prix. Turn it to about. Next up, oh, perfect, yeah. Here we go. 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 Here we go towards turn 13, now 14 in the turn 14, getting into the bus stop to Kane. Town turn 16, the final turn and stop. The final lap of the Spanish Grand Prix, final lap of the race. Final lap, final lap of the race. Here we go. Turn number one, now turn two, turn three. What's that date? Okay, we'll cover right now. Oh, my mouth's open. 
Ball three, fast as, and we go fast as again, sector two than anybody. Very nice indeed. And he just turned 13 now, 14 and 15. Here the bus stops the came. Now turn 18. Turn 16, and we'll see the checker flag and slow down and run and win the top Absolutely three. Fantastic. It's a brilliant result. Well done. And this hand for the of the day. So Mercedes have won it, and what a great race it was. So, Anthony, what made the difference out there today? Oh, yes, Renault always has the potential to liven up a race and mix up the order, and they've taken full advantage of that to claim the victory today. It's always a bit of a lottery when the conditions are like this, but they've managed to stay on circuit and have come out on top. After an excellent performance at the Grand Prix, I'm sure there'll be plenty of celebrations tonight amongst the Mercedes team. And they certainly deserve it. Spray me boundary here. Take this, I'll spray you back. Spray, spray, spray. It's a great result for Lewis Hamilton, who moves further ahead at the top of the table. Some amazing talent out on the track today, but Anthony, who would you pick as your driver of the day? It's got to be Lewis Hamilton. I mean, he pulled off some impressive feats out on the track today, even by his standards. Well, Ant, an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one. Yes, so we win the Spanish Grand Prix with 7 minutes 30 seconds, 125 with a teacher fast lap of the race. And Vance Bros comes home in second for P1, P2, finished for Mercedes. And Max Verstappen will round up the podium and with Sergio Perez in fourth, P3, P4, finished for Red Bull. Last Joel in fifth with Charles Leclerc in sixth. With Nesbon Alcon comes home in seventh, Carlos Sainz in eighth, Yuki Sonoda will come home in ninth place. And Lando Norris rounds up the top ten. Fernando Nanto eleventh, Peter Gasly twelfth, with Dana Ricciardo thirteenth, Sebastian Villa fourteenth. Lisa TV comes home in 15th, Nikita Maspin in 16th, with Mick Schumacher in 17th, Kim Rackin in 18th, Tony Giovanni in 19th, and George Russell will finish in 20th in last place. Now the standings, I hold the lead, 104 point lead over Perez as Valtteri Bowes moved up into 3rd, Max Verstappen down into 4th, Stroll moved up into 8th, Yuki down into 9th, and Ricciardo also down into 10th. It's 12 points back, Leclerc moved up into 11th, he's now 11 points back. Fernando so down into 12 now, Peter Gasly down in 13. Constructor stands now as Mercedes continue on top, 157 over Red Bull. Ferrari move up into 4 of an airplane now down into 5th. And next stop we're off to Monaco on the Monaco Grand Prix and I'll see you Monday at the Monaco Grand Prix.